Viruses make me sick. <laughs> oh no! An android virus is coming to destroy us all. Hey guys, Cole here, and today I'm going to be talking about an issue that has kind of got the whole android tech community on edge and a little uneasy, and for almost no reason, really. Recently, there has been talk of an android virus going around that is commonly known as stage fright. And it basically, uh, people are talking about text messages that can come through. And when you get this text message, someone can take over your phone. And it's a really big deal. And it's probably about really 10% of serious as, as people really are making it out to be. And I'm going to kind of go over that and ease up some rumors and give you guys some info on what exactly is going on. With it. So in July, a tech company called Zimperium, who is basically a group of hackers that started their own security firm and they all basically used their skills and created a bunch of security programs, stuff like that, released some information on this thing they called Stage Fright at a convention or a party or whatever. A lot of people are freaking out about it. Like, people are, you know, shutting down their phones and, you know, terrified to even text people. You know, German company Telecom disabled everyone from downloading multimedia messages. And uh, it's not what you think. So basically it's not even really a virus. What it actually is is a vulnerability in the Android ecosystem meaning stage fright is actually part of Android. It's been around since Android 2.2 way long ago in 2010 uh, built off of the Linux kernel from that time which was like 2.35 or something like that and basically what it is is stage fright lib.stagefright or whatever is an API built down into C++ inside the Android ecosystem and what stage fright does is it's basically the back end of processing video. It helps Android process and playback videos and things like that. It's a vulnerability and what's really going on is Zimmer or Zimperium has announced this vulnerability and people are starting to think it is an Android or it's a virus. This is not a virus. Basically what someone could do is if they had created a special program encoded like a video and sent it as a multimedia message when your phone receives it and tries to process it they could slip in through stage fright and have access to control of your device and control certain functions so that's what people are all worked up about but the crazy thing about this is nobody has actually taken action on it everyone thinks it's already going around but really there's not even a virus built for stage fright yet if people are working on it they haven't released it yet and I think it's because it's so bad that no one's really sure if they want to mess with it at this point but there's no virus so you're probably wondering how you can protect yourself from getting infected well first of all all the major tech companies already know this has happened Google has known about it for quite a while and they have a bug fix coming as well as a lot of ma other major OEMs Samsung HTC Alcatel and a lot of others, Sony, they're all building updates right now and they're going to start releasing security updates actually every month. So it's kind of fun. You get to update your phone every month with small, small patches and every time they find a bug, they're going to try and be quick about fixing it now. Um, and while you're waiting for this patch update from your provider, uh, there's a couple other steps you can take. For instance, uh, turn off automatic MMS. If you go into any text message settings, there's usually an option to disable the automatic download of multimedia messages. Meaning if someone sends you a picture or photo, you have to click on that and actually download it, which could prevent anything from getting in through stage fright because your phone's not going to download it and process it automatically for you. Also, disable Hangouts as your main text messaging app if you use that. I don't know why anyone would use Hangouts. It's awful. But if you do, it would be a good idea to disable that. For instance, I use Google Messenger which is both secure, it gets updated all the time, and you know, I can turn off multimedia messaging. So if you want that, the link will be in the description. It's free. And um, also, a lot of the security in Android is already built in. There's a function called ASLR. So ASLR is known as Address Space Layout Randomization. And what that basically does is it takes core functions and things, you know, like processes and controls of your phone and it basically scrambles them for security reasons so if someone were to make a stage fright virus and were to send it to your phone and somehow get past your automatic MMS and get into your system they would still have to compensate for ASLR which basically takes all the functions and shifts them around all the time so they would have to guess 
the exact location in your operating system of that very same item so that they can get control of the control counter and thus remotely do things to your device. So really, this is very unlikely to actually infect anyone. One, there is no virus as of yet. Nobody's trying to infect you. Two, there are multiple precautions you can take to prevent this. Three, all of the major phone developers are creating patches right now to block this and you should be good. So ASLR is gonna be in anything after Android 4.0 and pretty much every phone has that because that's like jelly bean and stuff like that. So we're all good. Figured I'd clear up those uh, rumors so everyone doesn't freak out and stuff. Don't forget to follow those steps. Uh, all of the articles I used will be referenced in the description below so you can check up on those yourselves and read a little bit more about it. And then fact check and come back and yell at me in the comments if I said anything wrong. But that's going to be it for this. So uh, stay safe and um, don't forget to eat a potato. I'm out.